Hey guys, welcome back to video six. So this is video six. We're gonna be exploiting port 22, which is SSH. I almost forgot, but I was, it's getting late. As you can see, it's I think almost one o'clock in the morning. So I'm trying to knock all these videos out tonight and we'll see if I can do it. But yeah, so this is exploiting port 22. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please like, subscribe and share and watch all the other videos that led up to here so it makes sense. And if you're returning, welcome back. All right, so what we're gonna be doing is exploiting port 22. So we did 21, excuse me, we did 21 in the last one. So let's go ahead and cat MF MS2. So this is from the end map results from prior videos. So we have port, let's make this a little, let's just happen. All right, let's make that a little larger. So we have port 22, OpenSSH 4.7p1, Debian. So what we're gonna do is open up a um, MSF console, which is Metasploit. And then what we're gonna do is search for SSH logins and see if we can utilize a method in order to like brute force uh, using the users and passwords list that we have. This is pretty much what we why I created that list in the first place. So it'll all make sense, it'll all tie together. All right, so let's go ahead and search SSH underscore login. And as you get more familiar with pen testing and different techniques and different ways, and if you know you keep working on Metasploitable, you'll know, you know different modules, different auxiliaries, different exploits, and you'll, you know, you'll learn it as you go. So now let's go ahead and use zero. Let's go ahead and just clear. And now if we do show options, we're gonna have a boat. We're gonna have a boatload, right? So pretty much we have to fill in the blanks. The critical ones we have to do is if we come down here, we have a password file, which contains passwords. Then we have a user file right here that, that contains the usernames, right? That's what we just created in the last video. So now what we're gonna do is utilize what we, what we made and put it into this auxiliary. But first we have to set our host, which is 10.0.200.5, and this is in my case, right? So now what we're gonna do is set the, the user. So set user underscore file, and then, Mine is in root and it's right on the root, right? So it's users.txt, okay? And then I wanna do passwords. Passwords.txt, so uh, I really messed that up, All right? So now it's gonna be pass underscore file as you just saw before, okay? So we just set the password, the password list, the user list. And now there's one more thing that we have to set up is I think that's that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and export. See if we we get a session. Okay. So as you can see here, we had a session. Let's give it a moment. Session three. All right. So this is what I forgot. So I want to go ahead and cancel this. So let's clear this out. So let's do show options again. And I want to show you why. So there is an option called stop on success. So stop on success means once I successfully found a username and password that worked, stop, right? So let's go ahead and set that up, right? So set stop, stop to success to true. Now let's go ahead and exploit this again. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, so it opened session four. So now, now we have a few sessions. So if I just screw sessions, we have four, right? Because before it was actually trying to do it over and over and over and over. But I want to use session four, right? So if I do sessions dash u four, let's go ahead and interact with session four, okay? So we'll give that a moment. And once we are interpreter five, five. All right. So so let's uh, 
you know what? Let's go ahead and just exit this. Let's just uh, does it exit dash y? Yes, fine. All right, I want to try this one more time, and then I want I want to put that to true prior to running the exploit. I don't know what what happened, but I want to do this a little quicker so we can uh, we can go on our merry way. You know, I don't want to have a really long video. This is a pretty easy exploit, so let's go ahead and just search. SSH underscore login, and then U0. So let's go ahead and just do set our host 10.0.200.5, set um, user underscore file to slash root slash users.txt. And then I want to do set paths underscore file root passwords dot txt all right and then that last one we're going to do so set stop on success to true now let's show my options before we exploit so my uh, users file is right there my password file is right there my r host and this is true so you can see right here Stop guessing when the credentials work on the host. All right, so now let's go ahead and hit exploit. Whoops. Exploits. All right, so we can see that it's successful. It was right here, MSF admin, MSF admin. So it pretty much worked, right? So we have a session, session one opened. So what does that mean? That means we can interact with that. So let's go ahead and do sessions again dash u1, see if we can get this to work now, hopefully. Give this a moment. All right, so session two opened. So now we can do sessions two, whoops, sessions two. And now we have an interpreter, system, this info, boom, we got it. This was pretty much, now that worked. So yeah, so now if we do like if config or ID, uh, UID or GUID, it's getting late. There you go. It's like, what time is it? Almost one o'clock. I'm getting tired, but yeah, so that's pretty much how we exploit SSH. So hopefully this is informative for you folks. Please like, subscribe and share. And then I'll pick out one more maybe in Metasploitable and see if I can do it. Right when I'm done with this one, I'll think I need to use the bathroom and come back and recharge. And then I'll download the Volan Hub machine and then we'll, we'll uh, wrap this stuff up. So until next time, see ya, have a good day and thank you for viewing.